Can you smell that? I smell another generic trashy isekai that we can enjoy this season. This one's called Chillin' in Another World with level 2 super chi powers. Sounds just right up our alley, right? Hopefully it's good. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh! Yep! If this is Remonster, <laughs> and we're gonna watch that today too. If this is Remonster, what would they do? They would just kill these fucking humans, right? <laughs> Banaza. Looks like he treats the orc goblin people with some respect. Nothing like racism, slavery. What else is there in Isekai that we always love? Oh, he's denying pay? Because he acknowledges his place? Such a familiar voice. Who is this? This voice actor is so familiar. Hold up, hold up. No, no, no. I, I, I gotta find this right now. This is gonna kill me. So this is Quinn, right? Quinn is apparently... I don't see your fucking name here. Who is this? You guys know? You guys know? I'm gonna take some time to look at this. Up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Her name is Quinn. But I don't see Quinn in the main character list. Is it Horikita Suzune? Let's listen to it again. Right? It sounds so familiar, but I can't, I can't figure out who it is. It doesn't tell me in the fucking the, uh, main character list because she's, Quinn is not an important character, apparently. So, Banaza probably treats the demi-humans with respect because he's an isekai character where he didn't grow with prejudice of looking down on demi-humans. The fuck you want, bro? <laughs> Talking shit and then just turn away? Pussy? That's a great way to live. Oh, oh. Level 2? Is this level 2? What is this? Did he just get isekai from an isekai world? The, the, the fuck? Um, okay, he just gone? What the fuck? Wait! My guess on why he's nice to them humans is wrong. He always was an other worlder and he's just going to another world. So instead of the main character from being Japan and getting hit by Truckun, it's just another worlder going to another world, which is still isekai. A lot of, a lot of summoners. They probably spent like three weeks summoning this guy. All right, church guy, probably evil, right? I mean, every isekai we watch, most like 99% of isekai, like as soon as we get someone, who's there? The king and then the fucking, the pope or something. And then the pope usually controls the king and the pope is fucking evil and shit. But this guy's face kind of looks like... Oh, gotta beat the Mao! Yes! Yusha sama, please defeat the Mao! Oh boy, here comes the power assessment. What the fuck is this made? What the? This or Emma? Emma from Skimichi Moon Fantasy. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take Emma. I'm not a furry though. <laughs> Emma is just, you know. <laughs> Emma's got such a nice personality, guys! In exchange for returning to level 1 after being summoned to our world, so we get reset in our level progress. Alright, we're gonna get our OP Isekai main character skills. Kami no Tenke. What the fuck? The, the stats kind of just ass. We suck at magic, apparently. And we got arithmetic business sense. What? You tell me what the fuck is 3 times 6 and I say 18? And then it says buy low, sell high? That's her fucking skill? What is this shit? No, there's gotta be a- there's gotta be an OP skill. We're getting baited. We're getting baited. Exactly. He's only level 1. This show is called something about level 2, right? So once he hits level 2, then he gets the fucking crack skills. Ah, oh, isekai language. Boom, done. Even though we speak fluent Japanese. What's going on? Fuck. <laughs> no, just wait till level 2. Wait till level 2. <laughs> That's, this is their 198th time. Or it's, it's the 198th hero candidate, right? So they're probably so fucking upset. Because, like, summoning takes, like, what? Like, in 10 sura. Doesn't it take, like, like 30 fucking mages to, like, do it for, like, a month or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send us back home. 
What do you know? Here's the real Yusha and the fucking maid is on her knees. The maid is on her fucking knees and they're like, Oh, he doing Subarashi! The real Yusha! And then they're gonna be like, get the fuck out of here, level one guy. And then we're gonna have to fucking live in his shadows, huh? Oh, Yusha Sama! Nine, 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 nine. Skills not yet acquired though. <laughs> this bitch fucking knocked us in the side. Look, look, look. She fucking knocked us in the side walking to the Yusha guy. Look. I told you Emma was better. I told you Emma was better. Emma would never do this shit to us. He just looks like the most typical douchebag hero in an Isekai show, huh? <laughs> oh, Yusha Sama! <laughs> It's just comical how many isekais we've watched and how many are just so fucking same in the beginning, right? It's just how many fucking isekais is there where you get summoned along with the group and you're the fucking defect and everyone shits on you and then there's the real hero who's super OP in the beginning but then it's like your actual unique skills hasn't been shown yet and they look down on us and then we shit on them back for the peak revenge story, you know? Getting downed on, look down on, then we come back. Send us back home. What the fuck? The king looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> Kimpatsu Yusha! <sighs> Bro, just hit level 2, then you're gonna be, good, be OP. I don't think we're getting sent back home, bro. What is it have we watched where they actually got to go back home? I don't think I got a cheese skill in another world is fair because that is simply a fucking door where you can simply pass through. In any isekai where you got summoned or got reincarnated into, I don't think we've seen one, anime only, not light novel or manga material, but anime only where we actually made it back. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Wait, where are we getting sent? The king fucking hates us, bro. Look at him. That's your problem. Okay. Bro, send us to the fucking area where the dark army exists? What the fuck? Drive us back. We can go back, bro. Just drop just drop me off somewhere here. I, I, I don't have to tell anybody. Just don't leave. What do you mean? Alright, fine. That bag seems OP though, right? Endless water pouch sounds OP. So you <laughs> wonder what the limit is of storing shit in there. All right, we got to hit level two. We got to hit level two and everything will change. Don't underestimate the slimes, bro. You're level one. Uh, good job. How did the sword get so fucked up from squishy ass slimes? Okay, level two. It's infinity. Everything is infinity now. How? So <laughs> you got you got summoned to your level one shitty ass stats, and suddenly you hit level two and everything's infinity. I mean, the show did say like, you know, fucking devil two fucking cheat shit or something, but like, wow, they took it literally. They, they took it literally. Now the skills is also infinite. Interesting. They don't know infinity. Wait, 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 what? Oh, we finished the tutorial. We can have the voice guidance now. We can do like um auto-pathing and then the voice will tell us. When do I get my free temples? Hello, appraisal AI. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. You even need a weapon anymore, bro. Your stats are so fucking strong. So does that imply that the king put this shit on so that we could get lured by the monsters and die and then we just remove that? Or that's what's implied, right? Right? King straight up sent us to the fucking forest up north where the dark army is and then baited our fucking bag on top of that. What a piece of shit. What an absolute piece of shit. He's very naive though. Our Banaza guy is too naive and too kind to even think about a possibility of that, huh? Marisium. 
the fuck? My, my, my asthma, demon breath, my asthma, demon aura. Yes? I think it's mana, right? Like, bro basically got spawned with Raphael from reincarnated as a slime. And that was only one third of his mana to use. Could you imagine if this level three, if he hit level three and then like all the stats reset? Like, imagine like this only worked at level two and if he hit level three, everything returned to normal. That's a lot. That's a lot of levels. At a certain point, adding one to infinity doesn't do anything, right? It's like infinity is still infinity. You add like infinity, you, you add like 1000 to infinity. It's such a big number that just keeps approaching this, this, you know, this limit so that, you know, you, you do math and you realize that infinity is just infinity. It doesn't fucking matter. Princess? Harm? First harm candidate? Oh, 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 she cares about Banaza? Fuck you! Bakano! Oh, wait, wait, that's what we just used, right? That's a purify, so they noticed that we used Tear of Purify, right? Yes, that's what we just used in the forest. Look at this fucking shit eating grin. You think he used it? Oh! It was up in north, bitch. You going south? Nani? <laughs> 367 now, but the stats are the same because infinite's still infinite. Yeah, why? Did you you just purified? Purifying Bro still doesn't know what infinity is. Maybe he thinks that it's just the number eight on the side. I think this is your forest now, and this is gonna be your Jura forest. Is he gonna change this into a city? Oh, oh, did he pick a girl? I mean, I when I play game, I'm not gonna choose a guy because I want to stare at a girl. But like, all right, Bazongas. Get them! Level 367 get. Exactly. Do the main character is a girl now? And we're back. Cooler looking guy. Alright. Well, this implies that he can go back and forth, right? It's not like a permanent thing. Oh, we have teleportation magic. Thank you. Like, that's the thing about this show. Because the skills fucking said infinity. Implying that we have infinite skills. So this fucking Raphael from fucking Wish. Raphael from fucking Walmart is because to say, hey, you want to use this broken skill that was never mentioned before to solve this problem? And it's gonna be like, oh yeah, and then he's gonna do it, and it's gonna be like, oh wow, I'm so fucking OP. It's probably some kind of legendary forbidden magic, right? Even his OP skills can't do that. さてと、強だ。この世界にもギルドってあるのかな。おお、冒険。エグザクトリー、アドベンチャースキルドエンドマーチンスキルドゥオウィルド。本当に便利だな。This Oh, I always love just checking out whoever the new Isekai Guild receptionist is, man. And there's a merchant skill too. Don't rem remember that there's a merchant skill receptionist we gotta check out too. Banana. Furio. Why Furio, I wonder. All right. E rank. E rank. Well. It'll be fun. Impossible! E rank? Lolly? Cute little cat girl? 
Well, the force is purified now, right? Oh, we'll go. We'll take you there. Oh, we already saw the princess. She's number one. Well, she hasn't made contact with Banaza yet, though. Come on, come on. You so me and look at her fucking cape, dude. It's so dirty. Dude, I bet she just... Oh, please, someone help her out. Look at her dirty cape, man. I feel bad for her. She's got pointy ears, too. Doesn't really mean elf necessarily, right? I'm not sure. What the fuck is this saying? Wait, wait, wait. I guess this is better than the main character that's older thirsting over the lolly. It's better if the lolly thirsts over the main character and the main character is not going to act like he's aloof. So I guess the main character here, he, he's really nice, right? He's super kind. So there's nothing pervy about him, but the, all the other girls will just like be glazing him up though. That's the formula of this show. Yeah, we purify that shit. That's our land now. Wonder what's more rare, teleportation? No fucking shit, it's not a beginner spell, bro. Are you not watching Mushoku Tensei? They're spending like the entire fucking two seasons developing how fucking OP teleportation is. Anyways, I want to know what's more important. Like, um, teleportation or like purify. Because like, the other priest dude was like, Oh my god, your highness, the purify magic happened. It's never been casted before. But teleportation's probably even more crap. One third of the mana. Oh, who is this? Who is this guy? Self-insert white knight. Maybe harm the girl number three. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Put your sword out and point at us for lying? I guess it kind of looks kind of bad, huh? Yeah, this is like the example of like, if you go to like a park and like if you're a guy and you're like talking to a kid, everyone else is going to be like, CHILD TRAFFICKING! PEDO! ENSLAVEMENT! No! Oh, dude, this is a huge party. Oh, who is this? Oh, my God. Holy shit, they fucking just threw the harm at us immediately. Oh, my God. And let's see the... the hold on. Let's, let's look at the picture of the, the magical... This show, right? So, if we look at this picture... Yeah. That's all of them. I mean, we haven't met these yet, but, like... <laughs> wow, we already got the entire fucking gang here. We're fucking speed running this harem, bro. That's suspicious. <laughs> no one will see us here. Now pull it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Teleport. Hey, Mahu! Nani? Teleportation magic! It can't be! And we purify this forest. Something like that. Ah, oh, we're just a merchant. We're just a merchant, bro. This bitch went from pointing a random fucking a, a sword to a random person just by saying I can use teleport magic to being my liege, my liege. The pace at which we're acquiring this harm is crazy. I don't sense any magical beasts, so maybe this implies that during the purify, he actually slayed the monsters, which leveled them up. So his assumption that just by using magic, you can level up is wrong. Not that leveling up matters anyways, because his stats are infinite. Oh, there's a demon here? Maybe it's a little bit racist for me to assume this, but the uh, this girl, the reddish skinned girl, is, is, she, is she a demon? Am I racist? I think that Lolly's a demon. But like... I don't know, of all the people here... Wait! <laughs> She's a demon? She Wait! <laughs> we went from... Oh, you're a pedo! How dare you talk to this little sweet girl! Point your sword at you! You, can, you can't use fucking teleportation magic! He uses it. Oh, my leash! And now it's like, hold up. Hold, this little fucking kid, hold up, hold up. Wait, I think she's a demon, bro. Please be a MILF. Please be a MILF. Please be a MILF. But she is the demon. Okay, okay. 
Transform from a lolly to MILF. Please give me this dub. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Oh, not a furry. No. Not a furry. No. Ain't no way y'all are typing wood at this thing. So it's Fenrir from <laughs> Campfire Cooking in Another World. No, it's a Fenris. Younger sister of the Fengaril of the Infernal Four. There's like four of these. Wait. Younger sister? Maybe there's older sisters. And the older sisters could be the MILFs that I'm seeking for. Hope is not dead yet. Loopy. Oh? Oh shit? Not a demon to the infernal four, but Banas are probably not affected, right? That's a flag. You should have never said that. He is spamming the shit out of teleportation, bro. Every single spell I have. You have infinite skills, though. And that's another episode of another isekai, which we're so familiar with. But hey, the unique twist is that this main character is not from Japan. He got isekai from an isekai world. So, hey, I mean, there's that, right? Obviously, I'm memeing about these, like, cliche moments of, like, yeah, you get summoned, and you're a disappointment, then the cool hot guy gets summoned, and he's the real Yusha, and everyone's like, boo, you suck, shield hero, get out of here. And then we got to do our own thing, and we got strong blood. We're already so fucking OP. We are so fucking OP. I mean, if this say, like, as soon as you hit level two, you're cracked, but it's crazy. You kill some slimes, and you got infinite stats, infinite skills. There is little to nothing he can do. So I'm wondering, like, how this show can be hype, right? A lot of isekais, they have their own little thing that they're good at. Reincarnate as a slime, the world building. And the world building makes it such that our slow rise to power and fame, it's, like, really interesting like that, right? But this show, we're already so fucking strong. Maybe the point is not to be a power fantasy. Even though there are power fantasy moments, Maybe it's supposed to be a little bit more slice of life. Because it did say you're just chilling with your OP level 2 skill, right? So, we'll give it a couple more episodes. I actually enjoyed it. There is obviously a lot of generic moments. But still, I think that's a pretty good watch. Definitely better than a... Uh... I'm not gonna master the... Uh... Anyways. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.